whatever you're going to do, go do it and do it hard. Anything you try, never give up and push even harder than you think you would or could, because that's going to bring you to greater victories and greater skills. It's me, Matt. Appreciate you stopping by on today's video. I hope you're having a good summer. If it's summer for you in the Northern Hemisphere and in the Southern Hemisphere, well, you're upside down anyway, so I have no idea what you're going through. Uh, but for us here in Canada, especially if you're part of the Canadian Armed Forces as a reservist, summer is the time where we get a lot of our core training done, whether it be basic military qualification, uh, DP1, which is our trade courses, DP2, PLQ or primary leadership qualification, all these courses slowly are starting to come back into the forefront, especially with COVID-19 going on and all that good stuff. And it's nice to see a lot of you know troops that I know are actually getting able to be qualified in what they want to be or the trade group that they're a part of or just get into basic military qualifications complete, which gets them started in their career. Um, especially with COVID taking such a huge impact on the way training has been, I guess, facilitated and the way in which we can take part in it. It's nice to see that, you know, momentum's picking up again and we can actually get back into training. The interesting thing that I found being a leader of junior soldiers, um, I'm currently right now at a section um, 2 IC of uh, a section of troops that are going through uh, transitioning into their BMQ training. A lot of them are on course right now uh, and I've been sort of touching base with them, seeing how they're doing. And a lot of them are enjoying it. They're having a really good time and they're learning a lot. It's, it's a huge challenge for them, totally out of the norm. Um, but it's basic training, right? Basic training is a challenge in itself, especially if you're not used to being in the military in any way, shape or form. If your civvy brain is, you know, totally accustomed to being in a civilian lifestyle, it's a big wake up call. It's a big shock to the system. And as a reservist, it's even more so because a reservist, um, you know, they're doing one weeknight a week, a couple of weekends a month, and really that's about as much military exposure as they get. As, co as, as a Red Force soldier, Red Force soldiers, or regular Force soldiers, full-time soldiers, are constantly exposed prior to going on certain courses and things like that. So it's a little different for a reservist. And what I've found is that not everyone can handle or deal with you know the pressures of basic military qualifications, or even any courses for that matter, in the same way as others. And today's video, I want to talk a little bit about things that can help you if you're struggling with a course, you're nervous, you're not feeling it, this isn't the place for me, you're struggling, you're having problems with, you know, homesickness, things like that. Because these are normal, natural things that happen when you're in the army, okay? I don't care how tough of a soldier you are, seaman, sailor, whatever it may be, you're going to hit a point in your career where you're like, this sucks, I'm not into this, I'm just like not feeling this at all. And it's normal, okay? It doesn't mean you're a bad soldier or you're a bad service member or you're, just, you're not destined for the military. We all hit that brick wall. We all hit that roadblock where we say, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. This is crazy. So first things first, you need to determine why you're thinking these things, right? If you're on basic military qualification, you're going to be put through the ringer. It's going to be stressful. It's going to be a lot of work going on, a lot of physical fitness, a lot of mental um, exertion. Lessons constantly being forced down your throat for the most part, you know, you're taking in so much information You're supposed to be this sponge, but it can be hard and it can be even harder If you don't understand what what is causing those issues, right? Is it because your PT is taking too much toll on you? Is your body not adjusted or accustomed to doing PT every morning or every evening? Um, for you know four weeks at a time for some people they've never done that much PT um, one thing I will advise you to do if you are going on course start doing a lot of PT, and I've talked about this many times in the past. You need to address what the key thing is that's stressing you out. Is it the staff, you know, or the, the shouting, and or is the, is the, the way in which they're approaching you stressing you out? Uh, is it the way in which, uh, you know, too much information at once, are you not getting certain classes, are you not, something's not sinking in? Once you identify that problem, okay, and that's probably one of the hardest parts, is focusing on it. Right, not looking at the whole course or the whole structure of what's going on. Right, focus on the one thing that's really concerning you and making you having a hard time on course. Because once you identify that, you can hone in on it, and all the other stuff that your little chip on the shoulder is telling you, like leave the army, don't keep going, quit, 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 Re release, B 
be done with this, okay? Kick that chip off your shoulder and focus on the core problem. Because if you don't, you're going to go into a rabbit hole of stress and, and upset and worry. And that's not where you want to be, okay? If it's something specific and there's more than one thing, that can be the case too. And, and you still need to focus on those key things, okay? Second thing is you need to communicate with your core staff. It's really important, okay? It doesn't matter what course you're on, whether you're on a BMQ, if you're on an AGLC, a PLQ, DP1, it doesn't matter, okay? Your core staff should be able to be approachable enough to have a conversation with, okay? Of course, their job is to train you and complete the training mandate that they've been given to qualify you as what you're supposed to be doing. On the other basis of care and consideration, they also need to understand you may be going through stuff at home, you may be going through things personally, and a lot of people don't realize that's happening with their troops until they come speak to them. So you need to communicate with your core staff. Hey, uh, Master Corporal, Sergeant, whoever it may be in rank structure, and this isn't just Canadian Forces related, it can be for any military, speak to them, okay? It can be hard, okay, it can be a challenge, it can be daunting, especially when, you know, 10 minutes ago that instructor was in your face, giving you a hard time about something you forgot or missed or didn't do correctly. But you have to have the, the, the guts and, and the bravery to stand up and say, Mass Corporal, I'm not, I, I, if this isn't sinking, I really need some support. I really want to pass this course. I really want to do 100%. It's not there. It's not hitting the level. What do I do? Help me. Right? And if they're very, you know, against helping you, that's another story, which, you know, I'm not going to talk about today, but I can guarantee you 100% that your staff will support you. They're there to pass you. They're not there to fail you. Okay. Depending on the courses that you're going through, course staff want you to pass. That's their mission, is to pass and train you. It's not there to weed out, uh, you know, troops that are, you know, not doing good. We're not going to SEALs here, and okay? we're not doing BUDS training. But on the same basis, you need to put the effort in too. So that's step two. Speak and communicate to your course staff or your chain of command. And always go through your chain of command. Do not go rushing up to your platoon commander saying, I have a problem. They don't care. Well, they do. But they want you to go through the appropriate channels. Don't set up problems for yourself going through, you know, two up from your chain of command. It's not going to go well. The third thing is, is you need to realize that it will be over. Okay, it will end. It's going to be fine. You're going to get through it. Okay, whatever course you're on. Okay, I did basic training for an entire year. Okay, when I went to Army Foundation College Harrogate, I did a full year long course of BMQ. Okay, I hear a lot of troops complaining about six weeks BMQ. They're like, this is horrible, it's awful. And I keep explaining to them, it's like, it's six weeks. It's a huge life lesson. It's good for you. It's good for you being uh, into a new environment. It's a new challenge for you in life. So please realize that it will end. It's not gonna be this ongoing course, okay? It may feel like when you get to day one of that course, you're like, oh, it's six weeks, but it will fly by. And especially in the summer because I don't know, for me, time flies during the months where it's sunny. I don't know why that is. Here in Canada, of course, five of the months of our year are pretty much snowy and dark. So in the summer, we get to go out and run outside and play. And that's what I like to do in the military is run outside and play with the army. So time will fly and it will end. Don't stress about it. The fourth thing is what I call play the game. Okay, you may have heard this before. Play the game means that you're going to get a lot of hard times your instructors are going to give you corrections and they're going to give you disciplinary actions if you do things wrong and you have to play the game what do i mean by play the game well basically you need to take it with the rough okay if you're getting a hard time accept it and move on okay you're a soldier or you're whatever service member you are accept the fact that you've joined a, a branch that is highly disciplined highly motivated and they don't have time for complaining, okay, for inactivity, laziness, things like this, okay? Excuses, excuses, excuses. You can make them up all day long, but keep them to yourself, okay? You take it with a grain of salt and you push through and you achieve the mission. Literally, that's it. Okay, the number of times I've met course members or, or even senior members of when I was in the British Army going through certain courses and they're just complaining and complaining and complaining about how horrible it is. That's fine, keep it into yourself. It's hard, it can be hard. Speak to your buddies, right? You can talk to your buddies about it. Oh yeah, this, is, this sucks, like this is tough. But as soon as that starts going into the world of other 
senior members hearing you or your core staff hearing that, it's not a good time. And you're creating an image for yourself you don't want. So please, I know it's hard, but you've got to take it with a grain of salt, push forward, you know, suck it up and keep going because I said it will end and your mission is to achieve what you need to do, which is to qualify whatever course you're going on. The fifth thing is always organize at home or your personal life first, okay? Ideally, do this before going on course on training because if you go afterwards, it's kind of negates the purpose of trying to deal with the problem, okay? We, we are in a society, and especially now with COVID-19, where there's a lot of stress, stresses in the background, things that can cause problems. If you don't handle that before you go in, we call it bringing excess baggage, right, or bringing baggage on course, it's going to give you a really tough time in actually absorbing that training and focusing on what you need to do and being at 100%. Sometimes that can be really hard. We all have our own personal things going on, life concerns, but try your very best to... Tick all the boxes and say, when I leave the course, I've got my finances sorted, I've got my family, you know, comfortable as to where I am, what I'm doing, communicating with them, uh, schooling, you know, try and get your, your, your schooling completed, your homework, don't think, oh, when I get back, I've got six assignments to do or whatever else like that. Try and get it all done before you go. Even simple things like clean your house, clean your room, uh, clean your car for crying out loud, whatever you need to do to feel that you're at 100% ready and prepared, not even for just the course, but ready and prepared to leave what you had going on in the background. And for a reservist like myself, that's really important. Like it's critical. And I actually go back and say that would be like step one of all this. Clear your mind, clear your conscience, feel ready that you can go on course without having that stressor in the background because it's just going to hammer you every night before you go to bed. And when you wake up in the morning, oh God, if you got this, oh God, wonder if this person knows, like that's, that's kind of where I'm looking at for this. And the final thing is, okay, and uh, a lot of people tell me, like, that will, that's an obvious. The final thing is, enjoy it, okay? You have to try and enjoy your courses and your training. If you're going into a course, or you're going into a training program, and all you're doing is dreading it, and all the way through you're hating it, you might not be in the right place. I joined the Army because I'm passionate about the military, I love part of being part of the, the ethos of the military, the camaraderie, learning experiences, the challenges for me. And I know I sound completely cliche, and you can call me out for it, that's fine. Right? I'm wired for the military. I may be speaking to some people who are not quite as similarly wired to me. But my point is, is that if you go against the grain on everything, it's probably not where you should be. You need to enjoy your course, take pictures, have fun. Laugh about the time when you get, you know, jacked up by staff or told or told off in front of people or, you know, you're all having a hard time getting beasted on PT. Laugh about it. Enjoy it. Not while well, it's happening because that's not a good time. But afterwards, in the end of the shacks, in the barracks, at the end of the night, like laugh it off. Have some jokes. Make some memes out of it, right? That's what enjoyment's all about in course or on training. People who hate training are like, I hate this. It sucks. It's like you need to be the person that ropes them into that camaraderie and that like humor because laughter in the military is it's almost like the golden magic bullet it fixes just about everything okay homesickness having personal problems uh having struggles with you know course content laughing about things like i make <laughs> i make help guides for courses that i go on that have stupid little pictures against the acronyms to remind me of what they are and they're funny pictures to kind of like pop in my head and i pass that stuff on to other course members to just have a laugh about it, right? So that when they're thinking about stuff, right? They're like, oh, that's kind of funny. It relates better. If you don't enjoy your course, you're just, you're losing out on a good memory and a good experience. Make it what you can stay positive. I know that's really hard when you're getting fragged and beasted and you know, you're just sweating like to death and you get PT'd all day and you're making, potentially making mistakes, but you make mistakes, learn from them, move on, laugh about it and enjoy it. Take pictures because I guarantee you, many of you out there, probably about, I'd say, 70% of you watching this video who are in the armed forces or are about to join the armed forces, or the military in general, will find that they'll go on course, they'll not like it very much when they get through, they'll complete and pass it, and then they'll be like, oh my god, I love that. I look back, and I took on a challenge, and it was awesome. That's how I think about basic training for me. I did a year-long basic at the time, it was rough. I enjoyed it, honestly. But at the very end, I was like, I love it. It was one of the best years of my life. I took pictures. 
And I just enjoyed the experience. I didn't go against the grain. I didn't fight it, okay? I made humor out of it. We had a laugh. We did what we could to make it a positive experience. Don't go against the grain. Enjoy it. Make some memories because in 20 years time, when you're speaking to your kids or 30 years time, 40 years time, you're speaking to your grandkids and you're telling them about your basic training experience or whatever experience that you had, okay, that will sit, sit with you forever. It will. It'll literally sit with you forever and you'll remember those things. Even the hard times, you're like, that sucked, but at least I did it, okay? So hopefully a couple of those things appeal to some of you guys uh, that maybe having a bit of a struggle on course, you know. Uh, I know some troops have reached out to me personally and have asked me some questions, some advice. Um, you know, they're feeling that it's not quite for them. And, you know, you really have to kind of reassess. You know, when you're going through a really hard time, that's when you're very vulnerable to that chip on your shoulder telling you things that initially, before you even start the course, you never would have even thought of. But that chip on the shoulder can have a huge influence on you if you listen to it long enough, okay? So if you need to reach out to people from home or for support, do so, right? So a couple of my troops reached out to me and I just gave them a little, you know, a little booster, a little pep talk, and they're right back on track. They're going to pass the course, no problems. So anyway, I hope today's video gave you a little bit of a, you know, I guess uh, motivational booster to keep you going on course if you're on course or if you're about to go into any sort of training. Um, and I hope you will pass whatever you're about to achieve. And that's the same for if you're a civilian, you know, going into a job interview, going into um, a long assignment, a long project. Own it, you know, take the take uh, take it with a pinch of salt when you hit those rough spots and enjoy what you can because we've only got one life, folks. Roll with it as best you can. Take the punches and let's keep rolling until we get that mission complete. Okay, folks, I really appreciate you stopping by on today's, today's video. Today's video. If you did enjoy this kind of video, please leave me a like and a comment. I for sure can make more videos like this. And I will see you on the next video in the future. If you want to be uh, notified of any upcoming videos, you can click the little bell by the subscribe button. And also, if you want to support my channel, you can check out my Patreon or my PayPal in the description box below. Have a wonderful day. All the best. Bye-bye.